Hey there you guys and welcome to the book haul video part 2. Last week I did the ebook edition and I will link that video below. The first print book I picked up is this One Lake Picture Book by Peter Glover and illustrated by Teresa Martinez. I have already read this book and while the illustrations are beautiful and I love them, I was not crazy about the story but I decided I'm going to do a wrap up video to talk about all the books that I read this month and I will go more in depth about um, why I have an issue with a picture book. But I wanted to show you some of the illustrations. So here's what the interior of this book looks like. The next book I picked up is also a picture book. <laughs> it's What Do You Do With An Idea by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Betsum. So this book has been on my TBR for a while and author I follow on Twitter recommended it as being a really good book for creative type people so I finally picked it up. I have also already read this but unlike the last book I did really like this one and these are what the illustrations look like in here and they are so cute and perfect for the story. So I am most excited about these next several books because when I was buying these, Barnes & Noble was having a buy two get one free on all of their manga online. And so I decided this was the perfect time to complete my Sailor Moon collection so I bought volumes 4 through 12. This is all of the books here and I will go through them individually so you can see what all the covers look like. Also, I'm going to have to make my lighting a little bit darker because these books are very, very glossy and they are not going to show up with a light flashing in my face. <laughs> so the first book is Sailor Moon Volume 4 with Sailor Jupiter on the cover. Next we have Volume 5 with Sailor Venus. We have Volume 6 with Chibiusa. And then we have Volume 7 with Sailor Uranus. And then there's Volume 8 with Sailor Neptune. Next we have Volume 9 with Sailor Pluto and her awesome staff that she carries around. Next we have Volume 10 with Sailor Saturn and her awesome staff thing. Next we have Volume 11 with Princess Serena's other daughter. I do not remember her name. I think her name was Chibi Chibi. <laughs> but I don't remember. And then last we have Volume 12 with Princess Serena and both of her daughters. So obviously I'm very very excited to have my Sailor Moon collection completed and as you may be able to tell I plan on reading a lot of graphic novels this year. So speaking of graphic novels, I also picked up Monstrous Volume 2. This is the special Barnes & Noble edition cover. I did finally start reading Monstrous Volume 1 and it is a lot more bloody than I was expecting it to be. But it is very very interesting so far and the special edition cover also came with this kind of poster thing that's very uh, creepy and dark just like the book. So if you don't know what Monstrous is about, I really can't help you out too much. I know it's dark fantasy and it's about this girl who like wants vengeance of some kind and there's like a war between like the humans and I guess like people who are only like partial human and like partial something else. And here is some of the artwork in Monstrous. It is stunning and as you can tell it is very dark. And the last graphic novel I picked up is Giant Days Volume 6. <laughs> These are a collection of comedic contemporaries about a trio of college friends and their college hijinks or whatever. I've really been enjoying these books and this is the last volume that's currently out now. Volume 7 comes out I think at the end of March. And here's some of the artwork in this and as you can tell it is really really fun. And the next book I have is The White Raven by Carrie D. Miller. I think this is an adult paranormal. It's about this woman who's been reincarnated several times. And in her 13th life, she is reincarnated into the body of a witch. And of course, someone is trying to kill her. And there are like secrets. And I don't know, it just sounded really, really interesting. And this cover is stunning. Next, I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up one of their special edition books. This is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Tales. I'm very, very excited because I have not read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and I do not currently have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So as soon as I saw this, of course I had to get it. While I was in that section, I also picked up The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I also have never read this and I'm also very excited to have it. And I don't know what other stories are in either one of these, but I'm sure I will enjoy the heck out of them. 
And then I found these really um, interesting, like, little poetry books. So I got Emily Dickinson, and then I also got Robert Frost. I do love poetry, and it's been a while since I bought a poetry book, so I was very, very excited to see these because I am not super familiar with Emily Dickinson's poems, and I'm not all too familiar with Robert Frost either. So I'm very excited to have some of their work in my collection. The next four books are books I got off Amazon. I do not currently have them in my possession, so I will put a picture of them up right here. So first up, we have the manga version of Pride and Prejudice. As soon as I saw this, I had to have it because I love Pride and Prejudice and I love Jane Austen. And I'm very interested to see what a manga version of Pride and Prejudice looks like. Next, I picked up another poetry book called Poisoned Apples by Christine Hepperman. And I love the tagline on this book because it says, Poems for you, my pretty. So they are all like fairy tale inspired poems, but they're also kind of like dealing with like, like eating disorder kind of issues and like just kind of those kind of issues but kind of wrapped in like fairy tale wrapping and I just thought that sounded really interesting. Then I picked up Snow White Sorrow by Jace Cameron. And this, like, cover is, like, creeping me out and, like, the best thing ever at the same time. So this is, like, some kind of twisted retelling of Snow White, where Snow White is some kind of monster, and it just sounds so good. And the last book I picked up is Paper Princess by Erin Watt. To the best of my knowledge, this is a contemporary romance with a main character who's had a hard life, and then she finds out um, shortly after her mom dies that she has this super rich guardian, and he sweeps her off the streets and into his fancy McMansion with all of his nudie sons. And he has five nudie sons. And I think, like, she's gonna, like, fall in love with one of them. I'm sure I mentioned this before, but I don't typically buy a lot of contemporary romance. But there is this one-star review on Goodreads that was just, like, a drag in the book. So that kind of made me interested. And so I go to Amazon to kind of skim through the first chapter and ended up reading this book for 20 minutes online. And so I was like, you know what? I am obviously find this interesting. I like the main character. I like the voice. I like the style. Um, I want to know what's going to happen. And so I got the book. I'm very excited about reading. It. I already showed up all the Sailor Moon books, but here are the rest of them. So those are all the books I picked up this month. Let me know if you've read any of them. Thumbs up for books, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!